be ready 10 seconds to go start sir the honorable member has very ably summed up in a way the total situation so far as irrigation is concerned and the problem that arises in this context the question was of a limited nature and we did try to give all the answers that the honorable member wanted but now he has tried to amplify some of the ch- things that he wanted to elicit from the government i will try to answer as best as i can it is true that there would be a shortfall in our achievement of irrigation target at the end of the sixth plan the sixth plan target is 13 million hectares and the likely achievement is going to be 11 million hectares thus there will be shortfall of 2 million hectares as i answered to the question the main constraint is that of resource i mentioned the figure of rupees 1650 crores as additional central assistance for 2 years plus 20% step up in market borrowings for the program in 1993-94 as compared to last year i want to clarify that this is not the figure which would be made available for irrigation this is the total additional that the government has made available to the states in the state sector we do hope that the states would be able to use as much of these additional resources that have been made available to them to reach the target and expedite irrigation programs about whose importance the honorable member very rightly stressed it is a very important sector of our development and in a way all future development in agriculture and in other areas can only come from irrigation and development of agriculture which depends on provisions of water i cannot say that the targets would be reached with these additional funds because it all depends how much priority the state government would give in allocating these additional resources so far as irrigation development is concerned another constraint is that the inputs sometimes are not available which hinders development of irrigation works it is true that some time back that was the situation and we were passing through a great scarcity which unfortunately we are not still able to get over it is not true that the cement allocation has been reduced from 6 million tons as stated by the honorable member to 5 million tons but the problem is that even the allocations are not made available by the cement factories because of many other things in the last year or two there have been various serious cuts in electricity for cement works and this slowed the supply of cement for irrigation works to the extent we wanted we in the ministry of irrigation have set up an interministerial group we are constantly in touch with the cement controller 
who also attends these meetings the state government's requisition are received and we try to sort out the thing i can say as of now no serious complaint about this has been received we have tried to streamline the distribution of cement to various states and project authorities another very important point raised by the honorable member is why do we create potential when when the potential already created is not being utilized this is a serious problem the figure for utilized potential is unfortunately growing in 1993-94 the figure of unutilized potential was 2 million hectares and it has gone up in 1995-96 to 4 million hectares on the one hand we have completed some irrigation works provided more potential on the other hand we have not been able to utilize it through the various methods that are available to us this problem has been with us for quite a few years it is because of this situation of lag between potential created and its utilization that in 1984-85 the command area development program was introduced it has been going on in a number of states and a number of projects have been started all the things that the honorable members mentioned regarding the field channels water management technique provision of water to the tail enders rotational irrigation drainage and cross drainage works all these form part of the cad program we have further strengthened the cad program this year by announcing that rupees 25 crores would be made available to the command area development authority where the performance is found to exceed the target for the construction of field channels and we would be able to assist them more than what they normally get lastly the honorable member mentioned that we have a potential of 110 million hectares this is true according to the surveys carried out as on today our water resources minor medium ground water etc is 110 million hectares of which we have utilized just about 50% if we continue the rate of development we would have utilized all this stop